and I'll take one aerial shot of the property. Then I can dump that into my software and I can build the pool and the decking and my software will calculate exactly the square footage of the decking, exactly the square footage of the interior of that pool. You're listening to the Drone Radio Show podcast, the show about drones and the people who use them for business, fun and research. Hosted by Randy Goers. Hello, everyone. This is Randy Goers, and welcome to the Drone Radio Show podcast, episode 131. Can a drone design a better pool? If you ask today's guest, he'd probably say, not just yet, but they will definitely speed up the process and save a lot of time and money. Jim Wolf is a pool designer from Chesterfield, Missouri. His company, AZ Pools, is a premium pool and spa design concept studio. He designs hundreds of pools each year. In 2017, Jim began using a drone to streamline the process of creating 3D models of his pool designs. By contracting with online drone pilot platforms like Drones.io and Upsonder.com, Jim was able to extend his drone design services nationwide. In this episode of the Drone Radio Show, Jim talks about how he uses a drone to streamline his design services and how he was able to leverage drone service companies to expand his business nationwide. Let's pick up his story where I asked Jim to introduce himself. My name is Jim Wolf, and I am a pool designer, a freelance pool designer, and my company is azpools.com. And I was originally, when I started the company, I was based in um, a suburb of Phoenix, Arizona called Chandler. So it was kind of a, a good fit for that area, being in the uh, sort of the pool mecca of the country. Started freelancing there, started with some Arizona clients, and then just sort of expanded throughout the country. And now I've got clients all over the country from the West Coast to the East Coast, California, Texas, Florida. Arizona, the Midwest, where I'm located now. So we moved to the Midwest a couple of years ago just to be closer to family. But because my business is all internet-based, very, very few of my clients I've actually met face-to-face. -face. It doesn't really matter where I'm located. So that's why we're sort of in the Midwest now. And prior to being a, a pool designer, for 30 years before that, I was in the drafting and design business. And so that's sort of my background. How did you get into designing pools? It sort of fell into my lap. I had a neighbor that was uh, a pool sales guy in Chandler, Arizona. He knew that I was a drafting and design guy, and he was having some difficulty because he was new to the, the pool sales business. And he asked me while we were having some beers one afternoon, said, you know, I'm a sales guy. I'm a hardcore sales guy. I just got involved in the pool business and they want me to do some design and, and drafting and, and 3D work. And he said, that's just not my strength. He said, can you help me out? And I said, well, probably let me have a look at, at what you're doing and how you're doing it. So that was kind of the start of it. And I, I sort of looked at the software that he was using. I'd never used it before. It's called Pool Studio. Started researching it, learning it. And from him, I had found out that, you know, his pool company was was using their sales guys to be designers. And I thought, well, this is kind of a weird scenario where you've got, you know, a hardcore salesman and you're shoehorning him into being a creative design person. And he was frustrated. And I thought, well, if his company is getting him to do this, then I'm assuming that a lot of other pool companies are doing the same thing. So I started helping out him a little bit. And then I just started reaching out to other pool companies, first of all, in Arizona. And then just, you know, I put together a website to show what I could do. And then just started reaching out to other pool companies and found out that, you know, most pool companies were doing the same thing. They were, they were using their sales guys to be designers. And, and it just... Not very efficient, is it? No, it, it isn't. It's not using their skill set, right? If they're a good salesperson, then get them selling. Don't waste their time designing and, and try to get them to be creative people because they're not inherently creative. You know, I mean, 
And so that's how my business has sort of grown is, is this was kind of a niche that, that I saw needed to be filled. And, you know, there's some companies that are still using their sales guys to be designers. And, and some of them have some creative people that are creative people that have just become salespeople. And from that aspect, it works for them. But for the most part, if they've got a successful salesperson, they're just not this creative 3D person. So that's sort of how my my business evolved. It just sort of happened one day and it just kind of grew from that. How many pools would you say you design in a typical year? Well, that's, that's a good question. It, it's hundreds for sure. A lot of people wouldn't automatically talk about drones and pools in the same sentence. So what's the connection? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. And, um, you know, I'm kind of a, a tech nerd at heart. So my kids and I were looking at, at some drones one day and thought, oh, this is kind of fun, right? Let's get a drone and see what we can do. And I've got three little boys, so they were interested in it. So we started off with just a, a Hubson, I don't know what it was, a 501. It was like a, a $90 drone, but it had GPS and, and a camera. And so we got that and we started flying it around. And, and I thought, wow, this is pretty cool. You know, I could take some video and some photos. And, and then I thought, you know, maybe there's some other alternatives that I can use for my business. Because I thought, you know, I saw this drone above my, my house and, and I was pointing it to the ground and taking some aerial photos. And I thought, wow, I can use this in my in my world because, you know, for the local clients that I have in the Midwest, I like this aerial shot because what I did prior to the drone business entering my realm is I was using Google Earth as one of the tools to, you know, get an aerial shot of some of these properties that I do for clients all over the country. And I thought, wow, this is this is Google Earth on steroids for sure for me. And so then I started looking into more of a prosumer drone for my application. So I got a, a 3DR Solo because, you know, they were a, a very cost effective solution. So I first got that and, and started using that to take some aerial shots. And then I started researching some software to see if I could generate a model with this. And turns out, you know, there's there's some applications out there. But because the 3DR Solo was kind of being phased out, it wasn't really being supported going forward by these software companies. So then I bought a, uh, a DJI Mavic Pro and that along with Pix4D has been able to, you know, sort of take this drone business from my standpoint to the next level where I could use it for not only 2D aerial shots, but now I can use it for building 3D models. So that's kind of how I got into the drone business again. It just kind of happened, but it's it's mostly because of, you know, I'm a techie nerd at heart and being involved with design software, 3D modeling for such a long time, I knew that inherently, you know, software talks to other software. So there's got to be a way to build a better mousetrap. And I kind of was able to put two and two together and solve some problems here. Can you describe for us how the process works? Absolutely. There's two applications in my world. Prior to the drone technology, my software that I use for the pool design is, is called Pool Studio. And they have sort of a, a higher end version called VIP 3D. What that does is it enables you to build a 3D model of, of a, a client's existing property and then you use the software to build the pool and the decking and, and all of the other features that go along with their new pool for their backyard. So it's a, it's a selling tool for pool companies to show them in incredible detail and quality what their backyard can look like with their new pool. And it's a live model. So the water is flowing, the birds are chirping, the water's running. And so you can walk your client through a virtual backyard. So... I used to have to, and for some clients I still do, but as the drone business is evolving from my industry, um, it's going to eliminate the need to draw the existing components, their house, their fence, their property, the slope of the property. So what I had to do before was I had to count on my clients giving me photographs of the backyard. Sometimes they'll do video with their smartphone and send it to me. 
so it's a combination of a bunch of things. Sometimes there's a there's a site plan that I can work with, or sometimes I I have to use Google Earth. You know, with Google Earth, you can measure things, but it's not that accurate. I mean, this is a satellite image from you know forty or fifty miles up, or however high the satellites are. So it's accurate to within probably you know a meter or a yard. So I would take all of these things, you know, photographs, site plans, and Google Earth, and I would have to build the existing house and fence and trees and everything from that. So with the drone, now I can fly the drone, I can fly the mission above the property in in literally 10 minutes, and I can take that drone imagery, I can dump it into the software that I use, which is called Pix4D, and I can generate a photo quality 3D model of that property. And then there's a couple of more steps to get that model into my software. But now I've got a 100% two scale accurate 3D model of the existing property that then I can add the pool to or the, the landscaping or the decking or the outdoor kitchens or all of that stuff. I add it to that photo quality model that I've generated with the drone imagery. So it it eliminates me doing all of that grunt work that you're essentially not getting paid for. You know, you want to generate this beautiful pool in the backyard. You still need to generate the model of their house, but that's not paying the bills. That's not selling the pool. It's the pool in the backyard and all of the components that go with it. So now I don't have to do that. And now I don't have to get my clients in Los Angeles or Boca Raton, Florida, or New Jersey to take a bunch of site measurements because that drone imagery, that model is accurate down to to centimeters. So it is 100% accurate when I dump it into the software. So I don't have to measure anything. We don't have to take photos it's a time saver for sure. And it generates this amazing, accurate model of the backyard and the house. Absolutely. Do you know how much time you've actually saved? It's hours and, and time is money for sure. So now with that, you know, there is the time of the drone imagery and stuff like that. But, you know, I build that into to the service offering for my clients. And the nice thing is, is that It is so accurate that, you know, there's no guesswork as far as the slope of the backyard and things like that. And that can become a big deal as far as developing this model for the client, especially if they do have a a big sloping backyard. There's a lot of extra dollars involved with building retaining walls and, and structural components for these yards. And if you're kind of estimating that slope based on photos, it can be really expensive at the end if you got it wrong. You know, if you're out by a couple of feet on the slope of the yard, that's a significant amount of cost for the structural component of this. And if you got it wrong, that cuts into my client's profits as far as, as building this backyard. So that's the 3D component. Now, another application is sort of the 2D component. Now, an example of this is if I've got a, a commercial client that has a an apartment building with a pool in the back, you know, a big 100 foot by a 40 foot pool or something that all of the people that live there in, in the apartment that share it. And the decking is wearing out, it's cracked. They want to resurface the interior of the pool. So they've got to calculate all this or, or me as, as a, a pool company has to calculate this. You know, what's it going to cost to resurface this deck or replace the concrete decking with another material or What's it going to cost to resurface the interior of the pool? Well, up until using the drone, someone had to go out and physically measure this and get out the tape measures or use one of these measuring devices with the wheel on it and walk the property. And and it's very time consuming. So what do you do now? I take the drone out. I fly above the property and I need a reference point for just one dimension. So I'll have like a, a tape measure on the deck and I'll roll it out to 10 feet. And I'll take one aerial shot of the property, then I can dump that into my software and I can build the pool and the decking and my software will calculate exactly the square footage of the decking 
exactly the square footage of the interior of that pool. So I can generate these estimates for remodels or upgrades very, very quickly. So that's a huge time saver because it's way more accurate and you're not out on site measuring and measuring and and then you got to come back and do the laborious math with calculating areas the software will generate all of that data with the click of a button so that's a huge time saver as well for remodels how do you handle your clients that are located in other parts of the country do you travel to their homes no absolutely not and so that was part of my dilemma in the beginning is okay now i've come up with this great idea How do I monetize it? How do I present this to my clients that are remote, you know, like in in L.A. or or Florida or or Texas? And part of my my research into, you know, the drone world was finding a a couple of online databases of drone pilots that are ready for hire. And one's called Droners.io and the other one that I use is called Upsonder.com. So these are databases of insured licensed drone pilots that are just regular guys that bought a drone and and that are looking for freelance work or they're drone companies that that have been doing this for a living for a number of years that that do real estate photos and and mapping and surveying and, and all of that stuff so they're available nationwide so i can reach out to these people anywhere so i've done it for a, a couple of clients in arizona so far And, you know, I've got clients in Florida that are definitely interested. And so now I've got this database of drone pilots nationwide that I can reach out to in a heartbeat. You know, you post a a job on these websites and and within 60 minutes, you've got 10 guys that are offering their service. So now I can send them out. They do the drone shoot, upload the files to Dropbox, and then I generate the model here and, and away we go. So it's, you know, I've got this offering to my clients all over the country. So would I like to fly to, to California to do it? For sure. And if the, uh, you know, if the project's big enough, then I'll be there to do it. But for some of these smaller projects where the budget isn't there for that, you know, I've got this remote database of drone pilots everywhere. So that's how I solved this. How do I monetize it nationwide was, fortunately, there was these databases out there. How has it been working with these services? It's been great because it's it's not a very complicated thing that I need them to do because Pix4D has an app that basically gets your drone to fly autonomously. So it's, it's a simple process for the pilot at that end. And, you know, the pilots that, that I'm dealing with are guys that are that either have done imagery similar to this before or are shooting you know, real estate videos and stuff. So they know what sort of is required from a flying standpoint. So it's, it's reasonably simple from that standpoint is, is that, you know, I'm dealing with experienced pilots all over the place and and it hasn't been an issue. Also, I would imagine that it's got to be a load off your shoulders, knowing that you're getting a certified pilot with the proper insurance and all those things. Absolutely. And and if we're doing some commercial stuff like this, I mean, you're technically re- required to have the, the Part 107 and, and everyone on these databases has that and they're insured. And actually, the, the one thing about Upsonder is if you're a pilot that, you know, sometimes having insurance can be a difficult thing or maybe it's not something you're prepared to, to pay for because – Drone insurance, it's, this whole drone world is kind of new to everyone, insurance companies included. So Upsonder is a website that I found through a uh, Google search and then talking to some other people. But Upsonder, they provide insurance to the pilots that are signed up with their service. So that's not even something that, that the pilot has to be concerned with. If they're on Upsonder, they they have insurance available. And, you know, through this whole process, there's another service online where you can sort of pay as you go for insurance. It's an app, and I can't remember what it's called right now, but you get on and, and enter in your data, say when you want to fly, and and basically you buy temporary insurance. So it, it hasn't been an issue from that standpoint either. And, you know, the, the pilots that I'm finding are experienced, and they know what needs to be done, and it's been a pretty painless process from that standpoint. And, you know, this this business from my standpoint is in its infancy. So 
I haven't done a ton of, of remote hiring yet, but I hope to broaden my client base and, and grow this. And, and it's nice to know that, that I do have that database out there. What have you learned about starting this business that you can share with others? I've learned that, you know, like with any business, is that it's vetting your clients is, is kind of a big thing. And, you know, I've sort of learned the hard way. I'm by nature a, a trustworthy, straight up, straight shooting kind of guy. And, you know, I've been burned by a couple of clients that don't pay their bills. So I guess from that standpoint, I, I try and vet my clients. I try and charge them a, a deposit up front you know, sort of 50% of the cost of the project. If they're not willing to, to pay that, then they're probably not willing to pay the bill anyway. So they're not necessarily serious clients. So that's probably the the most important thing as a small business owner that I've learned is, is kind of vetting your clients and then taking care of the clients that, that do pay the bills, you know. And then from the, the drone standpoint is, you know, part 107, get that, learn, you know, how to fly the drone and what it can do and use the right software from that standpoint. What are the key challenges that you have to address? You know, once I find a, a drone pilot that does a, a good job for me, then I'm just going to keep feeding him the work. I've had a, one issue, for instance, with a drone pilot that just wasn't, you know, professional enough. And, you know, I'm a small business Time is money. I'm not doing mega million dollar projects, unfortunately. The projects that I work on are in the hundreds or, or maybe in the thousands. So time is money. And I try and align myself with drone pilots that are sort of of the same mindset. You know, you got to under promise and over deliver. Time is money for these clients. And the projects that I work on, getting back to, you know, one of your first questions is how many pools do I design in a year? And it's hundreds is that the timeline for these projects is quick. So, you know, I need to, to find pilots that are on that same mindset is that let's get out, get the, get the drone imagery shot, and then get the images back. And so we can get the deliverables done for the customers. So I guess that's probably the, uh, the most important part is that time is money and these are small projects. So let's hurry up and get it done. Have you gotten any recognition from the pool or design industry? Yeah, absolutely. So once I sort of figured out the process and how to do it, I wanted to reach out to, initially I reached out to the uh, the software company, that this pool studio company, and, and they're very good at listening to their client base and adding enhancements to their software. And I, I reached out to them and said, you know, this is kind of what I'm what I'm doing with your software. And the owner of the company actually phoned me back literally within 20 minutes and, and he was over the moon with it because, you know, he's a, an entrepreneur and a techie guy and he was very interested in hearing what I had to say. So he uh, interviewed me and, and we, we did a, a blog there. And then I reached out to uh, Pool and Spa News, which is an online and printed piece that deals with the, the pool industry. And and talk to them about it. And they were interested in, you know, interviewing me and, and finding out, you know, what I was doing for their industry. And so they interviewed me and published an article online. And then actually Pix4D, they reached out to me because I'd been talking to their tech support guys about what do I do here? How, how can I edit this model to get it to where it needs to be? And and I was explaining to them what I was doing. And their people got back to me a couple of weeks ago and said, hey, we want to do a piece about this, if you don't mind. So they reached out to me once they found out what I was doing. And, you know, it's all part and parcel to this drone industry being cutting edge and, and sort of new to everyone. And, and I think everybody's sort of excited, you know, and that's why we're talking, right? I mean, excited because, you know, there's new applications and and what can we do and, and how can we keep pushing the envelope forward in this industry. What's the plan for moving forward? You know, I just want to broaden my client base. This is a technology that not only applies to the pool business, but landscape architects, landscape design companies, home builders, home remodelers. You know, they can all take advantage of this because everyone is sort of in that 3D modeling world now with designing. And so this is sort of taking you know, existing 3D and sort of developing it and adding it 
to their new 3D design capability. I mean, you know, Google Earth has been building 3D into their their models for a while now, and and so people are aware of it. This is sort of taking it to the next level where, you know, I just want to offer this service to other industries, not just the uh, the pool design world. And those industries can easily adapt your model of using a third-party drone services company to do the data collection for their business. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, there's no reason why they can't. I didn't want to offer this service to my clients and say, okay, now you got to go buy a thousand dollar drone and you got to get your part 107 and you got to learn how to fly it. I mean, people want to enhance their business. They don't want to have to learn something completely different to do it. So this is a service to offer to them that they don't have to, unless they're a tech nerd like me and wants to go have an excuse to buy a drone, you know, then, then they can do it. But I don't want to offer them something that, that is going to create more work for them. I want to offer something that's going to lessen their workload and and improve their workflow. Any final comments or observations, Jim? It's amazing how rapidly the technology is becoming available and how rapidly it's becoming more enhanced. And it's just a, a really, really interesting world that's kind of blends hobbyists with actual real world applications. That's it for episode 131 of the Drone Radio Show. I hope you enjoyed listening to Jim Wolf of AZ Pools. I want to thank Jim for taking the time to speak with me. If you want to learn more about AZ Pools or want to connect with Jim, check out the website at azpools.com. And it's azpoolz.com. If you like the Drone Radio Show, please consider supporting the podcast with a small donation. I'm doing the talking, you're doing the listening, and the bill's got to get paid. But for as little as a dollar per month, you can help defray the cost of production. To donate, go to patreon.com slash drone radio show. And thanks for listening. Your support means a lot to me, and I hope you'll listen to more episodes of the Drone Radio Show podcast to hear how others are using drones for business, fun, and research. For the Drone Radio Show, I'm Randy Gores. This has been the Drone Radio Show podcast. More information on today's show can be found on our website at www.droneradioshow.com. If you're using drone technology for business, fun, or research, and would like to share your experience on the show, please visit our website and fill out a guest appearance application. And don't forget to follow us on your favorite social media channels. Thank you.